hi you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video if you're new here hello my name is Lanye, and in today's video we're gonna be doing like an affordable makeup tutorial um something wearable something easy something neutral you know like workplace appropriate um you guys have been asking for workplace appropriate makeup tutorials for forever and i've been sprinkling them in every so often but not like giving like a series or anything like that i need to put them all in a playlist so that way it's easy to find them and you just go to my playlist and watch all of them if that's what you want to do um the only thing that i would probably say isn't like affordable uh, i have my mac reflex glitter that isn't necessarily affordable i mean i think it's like 18 to 20 bucks so depends on if you want to splurge on that and then the lashes are gonna be super dramatic so those two things you can tweak um if this is like a look that you want to do but you don't either have the same products as i have or you um whatever it may be just use what you have pull out whatever neutral palette you have whatever palette that you love whatever it may be uh, and use that you don't have to use affordable products i'm just giving you that option that you can go to a drugstore or ulta and pick up these products if um you want so if you are already subscribed please make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's roll the intro Okay, so the two palettes that I'm going to be using, the first one is the Makeup Geek The Matrix palette. This palette is already pre-made, so it comes with all of the eyeshadows. Uh, this is the neutral palette, and then there is a colorful palette. I think this palette is like a hundred and something dollars, but I probably wouldn't buy this entire palette uh, just because I don't got it like that. You know what I mean? So I'm with you. So... Um, some colors that I would definitely buy are definitely like this this neutral color down here, Banana Split. I would definitely buy Dark Roast. I really like Dark Roast. Um, and then we have Honey Badger right here and Creme Brulee. Or, I'm sorry, Cheetah Bear right here. Chocolate Wasted is really nice. And then Americano right here is nice. Give Me Dirt, which is a dark maroon. I also like, I also really like this like camel color this is called tiki hut and had me at yellow i like those so there are definitely some shades in here that i would pick out as opposed to buying the whole palette because it's expensive and i'm kind of like that so i am going to go into the shade honey badger which i think this used to be called frappe if i'm not mistaken um i could be lying <laughs> but i think this was once called frappe uh, it reminds me of that same color where it's like a warm reddish brown color, but it's not overly uh, red and overly like orange, you know, it's not too loud in the crease. It gives you that nice subtle um, transition shade and this scarf is annoying me. I am using a Stilazzi blush brush. This is a precision crease blender in L216. And usually when I'm going in with colors, I usually build it up and build it up and build it up until I'm like comfortable with it. So about right here, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take the shade Cheetah Bear right here, which used to be Cocoa Bear, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna take that on the same brush and just kind of go like a little closer to where in the, um, in the crease and then just blend upwards and go back in with a little bit more of the first shade as well. So just doing some mixing and dabbling and trying to figure out how exactly I want this transition shade to be so I felt like I needed to be a little bit darker so I'm happy with it right here like I said I don't want it to be a little too bright so yeah this is gonna be a long video <laughs> so I am going to go into the shade dark roast I also really like the shade over here which is called coffee before talkie there are similar it's just give me dirt is a little more warm tone and um coffee before talkie is just a little cooler but not like too 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 cooler so i'm taking a jh33 brush just like a um blending brush it's nice and tapered so it gets into that crease and i'm just going to 
I'm gonna take this crease shade up a little higher, like up into here like this. So I'm not gonna bring it just down like I normally would. I'm bringing it a little more upwards um, to give me a little more, a little more lid space up and through here. So once I apply that lid shade, it's gonna go up and then over. It's just something that I've seen that I've liked and I think it gives like an edgy kind of mod kind of look. I'm taking a little bit of the lighter shade right above it, which is Espresso Yourself. Ooh, 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 right there. Espresso Yourself, just to go right above it. And I'm just using the same brush because why not? Why dirty up another brush? But I do want to take more of the deeper shade and just pack this on the outer V, make sure I get some some depth and some definition out there. And it's okay to wipe off your brush in between colors if you want to. Um, that way you're not like muddying up your colors. So you can definitely do that. Okay, so the concealer that I originally used was my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So what I'm gonna do is take this, I think this is my makeup addiction brush. It's like a concealer brush. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit on here and just pat this into the open space that we have and the reason i'm doing this is because i want the lid shade to have um, a freshly tacky base to adhere to so it's kind of like cutting out the crease but kind of not cutting out the crease because i'm not drawing a harsh line i'm more so just patting out the edges So it does dry down to a nice matte finish. So you don't have to worry about like creasing too much, but you do want to work fairly quickly. So I'm gonna take the shade right down here, which is called Banana Split. It's like a nudey kind of, yeah, just like a nude color. I've used this before and just pat that right on there. Okay, so now that I have this pretty much down, I'm gonna take this shade Espresso Yourself, which is the one right above Dark Roast, and just tap off the brush and just kind of go above and kind of go along these edges just to make sure that nothing's like too harsh. But in case you lose something, you can definitely blend it back out. But it's definitely imperative that you blend the edges and make sure that nothing's too harsh. Now with a look like this, I think it'd be really cute if you did eyeliner. I think eyeliner would be super, super, super cute. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do eyeliner today, but I am gonna take my Max Reflex Glitter uh, in the shade Girl reflex pearl with a moda large eyeshadow shader brush and i'm going to take this and just kind of pat it right over the top now if you want that kind of like reflect sparkly kind of look you could just apply this i'm applying it dry um i found that applying it dry is just as good as applying it wet when i did my wedding i probably should have applied it dry but the only way that i knew to apply this was applying it with like a glitter primer because it's a glitter but it's really not a glitter it's so fine it's kind of just like a reflect like it's it's so 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 fine it's not a glitter at all um but it applies beautifully onto the eye and it just gives that that reflect you know but it's messy as you can see it's all over the place so i actually am going to apply just a little bit of uh, dark roast just i'm gonna bring it just a little in or it's probably like about right here 
yeah right there just to create like a a smoky lash line kind of effect uh, that's enough actually yeah i think that's good <laughs> i'm gonna clean up and then do my other eye and then i'll come back to the face okay i put my gum back in so I am going to prime my skin. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. There's not too many uh, drugstore primers that I really enjoy. Um, granted, I haven't like used a ton or even bought a ton. But this one is okay. Uh, I've never used the Tatcha either. My skin is really dry, so I actually should be using something a little more hydrating. Um, because it's just been so, 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 so dry. Um... It's so snowy here. It like snowed like four to five inches last night here in Illinois. And I'm just like, what the hell? Like it's spring. Like it's literally spring. And the weather is literally cutting up. So can't deal with that. Don't want to deal with that. But you know. Okay, so next I'm gonna use this foundation. This is the Maybelline 24 hour foundation in the shade Mocha. I haven't used this in such a long time. I don't even know how this how this foundation looks like it's been so long since i've used this i don't even think it matches but you know what we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work i know it's like more full coverage of a foundation but yeah but i am gonna blend this in with a kabuki brush this is the jh03 i've been liking to apply my foundation with a brush lately um especially when they're not as liquidy like this foundation isn't like terribly terribly liquidy it's definitely a little more thick of a consistency um and then when i go to work i'm gonna have to do my workday routine for you guys because it's so 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 simple and i think those of you guys that like to wear makeup for special occasions but like on an everyday basis just want to like throw something together i think you guys would enjoy that so i think i might do that i think i might film that tomorrow it's just like a like a buffer video like an in-between video of makeup tutorials because i don't know if you guys have noticed but i try not to bombard with makeup tutorials i try to expand on what i'm doing i want to do makeup tutorials but i also don't want to be stuck in a little box so i want to do hair videos and you know, there's just a lot of things that I want to do and um, like to do. But it's hard because, like, those videos that I really like doing, they don't get a lot of views. So it just gets a little frustrating. But, but I'm at the point where I'm just like, I'm going to do what I want to do. And eventually people will catch on or eventually people will watch. Like, I've got a core, like, 400 of you guys that always watch every single video even though you don't comment and i appreciate it i love it and appreciate it because watching that videos gets views commenting helps get um higher up on the algorithm so and when people are looking for that video or a certain type of video or something like that um i'll pop up in the recommendation so that's really great so thank you guys so much for watching my videos and all of that so i really appreciate that this doesn't look terrible so it actually doesn't look bad it's been a long time since i've been wearing this foundation probably a year it's probably bad but you know i actually should declutter like lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff like that and record it but i can't bring myself to do it yet <laughs> i am such a hoarder blame my grandma blame my grandma so in my battle of, or not my battle of concealers video, ooh, that video was a while ago. In my concealers video, I had mentioned that I don't really use like a lot of drugstore concealers. I do have the CoverGirl undercover concealer, or no, this, yeah, the undercover concealer. Um, I don't use it too often. Now, I have been using it a lot lately, especially um, this shade, which is bronze. Um, I use this one for every day, like just, going to work type of thing especially because i'm not like highlighting and then i use tawny um especially under the eyes and on like the high points 
Now this is the concealer that everyone was like raving and obsessed about because it reminded them of the Tarte Shape Tape, but at an affordable price, which was like, yes, you know? <laughs> um, so I like this concealer. I really liked it when it first came out, but it was just one of those things where I just like use and then stopped. So um, a lot of influencers will test attest to that um when you get a lot of product in and you know it's constantly in rotation it's kind of hard to keep up with using the same product over and over and over especially when you get other product in the mail which is a blessing it's such a blessing and i do understand that um my subscribers don't have that same luxury you know, you go to the store and you buy a concealer based off of my recommendation or your other favorite YouTuber's recommendation. And that is the concealer that you use until the wheels fall off or it dries up. <laughs> um, but, and I remember those days. I remember, you know, using my concealer until it dried up and then being like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy a fucking other concealer, you know? Uh, excuse my language. I know you guys hate when I curse. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better. But, uh... Yeah, but I am like that with like my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. That is my tried and true. I will forever recommend that concealer to anybody that is looking for a concealer that is more on the dry or more on the oily combo kind of spectrum. Uh, if you have dry skin, it'll dry a little fast on you and it might be a little too matte for you. But if you have normal skin, it'll be perfect. But the main reason I think I stopped using this concealer is I don't think it gave me that brightening look that I was looking for. You guys know, I know, I know you guys are going to comment. You got to stop the video right now and be like, Lon, this is exactly the concealer for you. This is what we look for. This is what we want you to use because some of you guys don't like when I use a lighter, brighter concealer. But it looks good, but it looks a little too natural for me. You know, it just looks uh, a little too natural but that's okay it's okay but yeah so I'm gonna use the revolution bacon blot makeup revolution I'm gonna use this with the Stelazzi strobe L307 and really apply this because I want this to brighten me up this is in the shade banana deep and this is very, 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 very affordable. Makeup Revolution, if you're looking for like palettes and things like that, that you want to use, but you want to, you know, save and not break the bank, this is a really good brand to do that. And I'm also applying a, a lot of this powder. I'm like excessively applying it, kind of like I would if I was baking, um, because I really want this product to stand out. I didn't even grab no contour powder. Mm -mm. And then once I've applied, I'm just going to brush away. But you really want to make sure that you set your concealer kind of like right away. So that way it doesn't settle on your fine lines. You can see my dry patch is got like some dry patches. My skin has been so, 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 so dry, which I don't even know why I just tried to bake this because like I said before when I first started my skin has been so terribly dry I'm just a mess you know habit habit just it's just a bad habit <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use my black radiance true complexion contour palette because this is like the best contour palette that I've found it's it, it's affordable I use it every single time I do my makeup um it warms up the skin it has a really good shade range they go all the way to deep dark like really deep dark on my darker skin tone clients I use that to bronze them up and give them some shade and contour them and everything but since I apply my wigs a little lower than where my hairline is i think my hairline's like right back here so i apply it like an inch or two before in front of my hairline i don't have to contour my forehead too much uh you guys know my forehead has always been a big insecurity of mine it's always been something that i've 
uh, dislike about myself. If I had the money, I would definitely get a hairline reconstruction surgery, even though I've never had a surgery. I don't even know the first thing about surgery or anything like that, but I would definitely do something like that just because it's obviously something that I've grown to get used to over the years, but it's still my biggest insecurity. We all have insecurities and that's fine. Um, but I would definitely get the surgery. Jack would never want me to get the surgery. Um, but having and wearing wigs definitely, definitely, definitely helps with that insecurity that I have, especially a full frontal because I can pull it a little forward in front of my hairline and it won't make my forehead look as large. So, um, yeah, that's just something that I've always thought about, but your girl ain't balling. My YouTube checks ain't paying. <laughs> so I actually just received this blush in PR. This is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in Coast to Coast. It's from their new Mauve collection. If you guys want me to do a video on that collection, please let me know down below. I have, it came with two blushes, two lip glosses, um, two Super Shock shadows, and then a palette. So let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing. Let's see how this blush, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, that's my type of blush. Oh, it looks so good. It's a little lighter than most like mauvey pink blushes, but oh my gosh, that looks so good. I can get carried away with blush, so I'm just gonna stop right here. I'm just gonna stop right here. Ugh, I love it, I love it. So of course I'm gonna use my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. It's only right that I use this. It's actually not been too long since I've used it. I used it in a video, the last like neutral kind of golden look that I used, or I did using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I'm gonna use the Stilazzi Large Fluff. Now what gets me with Stilazzi is this is a strobe brush and this is a large fluff brush. Like, this should be the large fluff brush and this should be the strobe brush because this is way better for highlighting. But you know, I digress. Um, but I'm just gonna apply this, oh yes, oh yes. Right to my cheek, oh. Oh baby. So definitely, <laughs> don't want to apply too much because you'll be strobing. Oh wow. Oh my god. This this highlighter never ceases to amaze me. It always, always, always looks good. Like, no matter how long I've taken. They also have a topaz. So if you're a little darker or you don't feel comfortable wearing something like this, even if you're my color, um, you don't want to look like a light bulb on the cheekbones like <laughs> I do. <laughs> You could definitely use that one. The topaz is definitely a little more subtle. It's not as like shimmery, vibrant, out there type of thing. Um, so have any of you guys watched Little Fires yet on Hulu? I've started it twice. <laughs> One time was last night when I was flat ironing this wig. This is the brown wig, the brown curly wig. I just have flat ironed it, uh, washed it and flat ironed it. And then the second time was actually like today, earlier today. I was, I had eaten like, bre like brunch. I'm gonna take this ColourPop whatever palette. I actually have quite a few ColourPop palettes. I actually should do a ColourPop palette series where I just do a look with that palette. I think I might do that next week. If I don't have to go back to work, I think I might do that next week because um, I have a lot of like Super Shock shadows and like ColourPop um, palettes that I'd love to do looks with. I'm waiting on my um, pretty, pretty little thing order to come in. So I have a couple dresses that I wanna do a look with and then like, you know, like take pictures, you know, like look cute or whatever. But I'm waiting on that. So um, this is the whatever palette. And I'm going to take Tardy right here. Um, and a JH42 brush. But I've tried to watch it twice. 
And both times I've kind of been like, not necessarily bored because it has Weiss, Weiss. <laughs> it has Reese Witherspoon and it has um, Kerry Washington and it has, um, oh, what's the man's name from Dawson's Creek? Oh, he's married to a black woman and they're expecting a child right now. She played in Queen and Slim. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. I don't know why Josh is coming to my mind. Is his name Josh? Is his name Josh? Josh? No, no, I think that's Vanderbeek. I'm, uh, Dawson's. What's his name? Joshua Jackson. It is Joshua. Oh my gosh, I went to a, I went to school with a kid named Joshua Jackson. Um, but yeah, yeah, his name is Josh. Okay. Um, it has him in it. He plays the husband of Reese. Reese why do I keep saying Weese? Okay, I gotta tell Jack we cannot name our son Reese because I keep saying Weese and that's just not gonna go well with our kid. Um, but, but it has him in it and um, just like an all-star cast. There's like a lot of good people in this show. But I just have not been able to like really, really, really get into it and really like connect. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I guess I just don't understand the, the premise. Like, I don't really understand, but I don't know. Hulu has some good shows. I'm still waiting on uh, Handmaid's Tale to come back. I cannot wait till that comes back because you guys know I'm gonna start doing a weekly, uh, when The Handmaid's Tale comes back, I'm gonna start doing a weekly like recap because it's a week long um it's a uh, episodes are released every week which i absolutely hate and i think is archaic as fuck but you know it's whatever it's whatever but i cannot wait for that show to come back so i think hulu has like really good shows and stuff but i think that releasing them every week like regular networks do is just stupid because people come to sites like hulu and netflix for that binge you know like to be able to complete a, an entire season in one sitting and not feel guilty about it <laughs> you know so that just they miss they miss me with that whole thing but so yeah i haven't really been able to get into it too much so i'm just uh I don't know, I'm gonna keep trying though, especially while I have this time off from work. I'm gonna keep trying to get into it, but oh yes, that nude liner really made that look a lot better. So I'm gonna spray my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Love this stuff, love it. Especially when you're working with matte shadows. I especially love it. I'm going to have to go back over with the... So I'm going to try something. I'm going to try spraying my brush. And try dipping into this. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fell on my face. I'm not going to be able to get this off. <sighs> what was I thinking? I hate it here. So I'm actually quite pissed that I did what I did. Uh, because it really didn't make a difference. Um, and now I just have sparkles all over my face. So don't be an idiot like me. But I am going to line my lips with my ColourPop lip liner in the, what the hell? In the shade BFF number four. And yeah, I actually need to sharpen this. Okay, and for lips, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip and Attention Haul. 
this is like a pinky kind of gloss but i think with the brown lip liner it might take on like a different color let's see nope didn't take on a different color but it is really pretty though All right, you guys, so that completes my complete drugstore affordable makeup tutorial. Uh, pretty much everything that I use, you can find at your local Ulta. That's usually what I think of when I think of drugstore. I know the true definition of a drugstore is something that you can find at like a Walgreens, a CVS, um, places that have a pharmacy in it for the drugstore part, <laughs> um, which I mean, now most grocery stores have them. But I did use products like the Makeup Revolution and the ColourPop and the e.l.f. Uh, and the Makeup Geek products like those. The Makeup Geek you can only find online or you can find them in Target, which Target, I guess, would be a, a drugstore because there's CVS in Target. So my pretty much complete thinking and <laughs> mind frame is products that won't break the bank. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna end up titling this video, full face of products that won't break the bank because most of these products are going to be under your $10 mark, uh, except the foundation. Foundations are, even drugstore foundations are really expensive now. They are like 12, 14 bucks and baby, just as, just as expensive as the high end. Not really just as expensive, but still it, it, it's expensive. Uh, the MAC product, you can find some MAC products at your local Ulta, but it's hit or miss. So with the MAC product, all it did was add a little sparkle to the eye and mess up my under eye makeup because I was being extra. Um, but you can use a sparkly champagne shade if you want to use it. I just wanted to do matte and then add this all over just to see the kind of look that it would give. But this is still a really wearable, easy, fresh, just it's just, it's just a wearable makeup tutorial. It's just a brown smoky eye with a nude on the lid. You can put the nude down first. I've done this look in multiple different ways. Um, multiple different like techniques, I guess you could say, but still wearable drugstore makeup geek. I do have a code for makeup geek or uh, do I have a code? I think I have a code for makeup geek down below. Check the description box because I think I do have a code. And then if you do go to the link on makeup geek, it will be it is, it is an affiliate link. So I will make a small commission. Very small. <laughs> It'll be enough for uh, really nothing. It's not really It's like eight bucks. I usually make a month, <laughs> but still, still it's enough for a meal at Wendy's. Okay. So two, four, four, fours, a meal for me and B. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please leave me a comment down below on any of these products. If you have any of these products or what your favorite uh, products that won't break the bank are in case I don't have them, you know, I'm always looking for something to spend money on. <laughs> so this is the brown wig. Once again, it's just flat ironed. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I just flat ironed it and I, I'm loving it straight. It looks really good straight as well as curly this is just a really nice wig that link will be and all that information will be down below as well in case you're wondering and i'll catch you guys in the next video